this is the idea. So I think what we'll just go on, if we just go straight on and do a demo for this one, uh, and this will give you the idea as to how to, to create the wraparound dies. Um, they do have the measurements on the back. So we've got for this one here, that's the one that I've just used a minute ago. So do double check the measurements. If you're going to be using them for uh, the A6 card, then uh, do double check the measurements because they are slightly different because each design may be, you know, uh, deeper or thicker. Um, so just double check the measurements in, in this one here. So we're going to go for this one. So we'll use the um, wedding chimes. That's one that I have done. So we'll go for that one. And then you're wanting a piece of cardstock. It tells you just at the bottom. So you're wanting it in a strip of 276 millimetres by 41 millimetres. So this is creating a wraparound for your C6 card. And then I'll show you just as we're going on how you can actually uh, make it a bit longer as well. So let's bring in, I'm just going to use my Gemini plate. So I've actually already got a bit of cardstock already cut. I will be doing in another demo cutting it live for you to see. So you can see me doing it from start to, to end. So we've got this one here. So as I say, so this one's going to be 276 millimetres uh, in, in length and then uh, your 41 millimetres in length. I know I'm just going out of shot very briefly. It is just under 11 inches. And I know I've dropped that one, but I've got another one at hand. And it is just over, it's between uh, one and a half and one and three quarters. So you are really wanting to best to go with the, the millimetre measurements to get it precise. So let's take our die. So I'm going to take this first one. Now, as you can see, I've already used this one because I've not popped these wee bits out. So let me just get rid of that bit. So all that I'm just going to do it is I'm just going to measure it up to the end. So as you can see, with this measurement, it's accurate because it's the same width as the bell from bottom to top here. So all that I'm just going to do is I'm going to butt it up just to the edge here so that the end of the ribbon is against the edge of the cardstock. And then using a tape, I'm just going to tape that down into place. So I'll just do that one side at the moment and then we're going to run this through like so. So as that goes through, what I'll do as well is we will emboss it. These are the sort of dies where it's really worthwhile embossing to really see all that detail coming through. You could be adding colour to it, you know, extra ink and that to it. So if I peel this one off like so and then let's take our rubber embossing mat. So let's just snip this wee bit that's hanging over the edge because we don't need that. And then let's replace that with our right plate. And then we're going to run that through again. And that's going to give us our embossing detail. So we'll just wait on that coming through. And this will show you the detail that comes through. And it'll also show you, if I remove this, let me just take my die release tool and mat and let's just get rid of these bits here. So can you see first off, if I bring this in, can you see now how that has die cut but it's left it at the edge there just with the wee fold mark so it's not actually a die cut right at the edge there. As you can see that's still in place. So we're going to do exactly the same. So let's bring in our additional plates. So I'm going to flip that around and then this is where I'm now going to bring in our next one. And just exactly the same, I'm just going to line this up and I'm going to just make sure that it's in place and then it's, in str it's straight. And then we're just going to tape that down, run that through again. So we've got our cutting plate, we've got our plastic shim, we've got our magnetic sheet and then we've got our top cutting plate. Run that through. So this is when, uh, hopefully, as you can see, wow, that's a good view that I've not seen before. That really took me surprise. I like that view. That's a good one. I've actually seen it going through the, the Gemini. So if I remove this, once again, I'm just going to emboss this with our embossing mat. And um, as I was just a way to say, this is where uh, having our crafter's companion craft knife and that's going to come in handy because what we're going to do in just a second is, uh, I love that. That's, that's really good. I like that effect. Very, very stylish effect, doesn't it? There you go. So let's move this. So yes, as I was always to say, this is when it's good having your uh, craft knife and that. Because we're actually way to cut these parts here. 
So again, if I remove this bit just so that you can see, I'll bring that into view. So all that I'm going to do is if I take my ruler, now all that I'm going to do, I'll show you, there's a couple of wee ridges just in these bits here. I'm going to show you what, uh, what, what you could do with them shortly. So I'm just taking my craft knife. Now all that I'm going to do is I'm just, from where that cut ends, obviously I'm going to join it up to that next one. So I'm just going to use the ruler and I'm just going to run all the way down just to get rid of that bit. And I know the one thing I didn't show you was uh, what it looks like embossed. So we shall do that just in a second. So all that I'm doing again is I'm just joining these up. And that I'll give you your width. There you go. So I know at the moment it's, like, it's a bit strange, isn't it? So what we're going to do then is, uh, this is just the way that I've uh, done it, is I've just folded it over as it was. So if I just slot them in, like so, so you can see that's some, um, hopefully you can see slotted in place. And then I just know, just when it comes to this bit here, all that I'm going to do is just fold that over at the edge. And same with this bit here, you know, ideally you'd be using your scoring tool, but just for uh, speed and Facebook Live, I'm just doing it by hand. And then that gives you your wee band. So if I bring in my cardstock, so if I take that away, and then if I slot this into place, and bring that in and I'm just going to pull that down just watch you don't get caught on the wee die cut corners just pull that in like so and then once that's in you're just straighten it and then there is your wee band to go around so let's just pull that into place so that now gives you your band that goes around your card I know I call it a band but a wrap round die so that's it wrapped round all the way around for you. So that gives you the idea of how to, to create it. What you could do is if we take this one off, actually I don't need to take that one off just yet, let's show you what these wee ridges uh, can help for, what they can do. So let's just move this out of the way at the moment and we'll go for, I think, something a bit different. Let's have a look. Uh, actually, we'll, we'll, let's do the cross. We'll do the cross. Let's have a look. So let's move that into place. And let's just take another bit of cardstock. So I'll just go for this green colour. So any of the colours you see me using is just from our Centura Apparel Trains collection, just in case anyone wanted to know. And I'm just going to bring in my ruler, and I've just got a wee uh, mechanical pencil here. So this is, again, this is just the way that I do it. So I'm just double-checking the measurements. So for this one, it's 276 millimetres. So I'm just... Going by my ruler, so 276. So there we go. I'm just doing the same here, down at the bottom. Hopefully you can see. And um, we could be putting um, this way, we could be putting it into our guillotine 76. But then, certainly, when it comes the other way, that I'm going to wait to show you just in a second, you will need to use your craft knife and ruler. There we go. You can get them on the website if you're looking for them. And then, so we've got that that way, 267. And then this way we're wanting a wee strip that is 66 millimetres. So again, I'm just going along. Uh, hopefully you can see getting my head out the way. So 66, 65, 66. And then I'm just doing exactly the same at the bottom. 60... 66 and then I'm just going to join these up let's get rid of these wee bits out the way and I did have my craft knife here we go let's join these up so just again where my uh, pencil mark is down to my other pencil mark at the bottom and I'm just going to cut craft knife one cut perfect so we've got that one. So we're going to do, we're going to run along the, the same lines. So we're going to move that out of the way and we're going to go with this one. I'm actually, I'm uh, changing this. I'll show you just in a second what those wee perforated ridges are for. But for this one, I'm actually wanting to create it the way that it's intended for. Because I'm uh, intrigued myself as to how this is going to look. So there we go. So I'm going to take this down. Let's get our tape, and I'm just going to hold this into place, 
Right, so take that down. Really are, uh, this is certainly something me personally I've never seen before. Um, I knew that I was going to be doing them today, but I hadn't uh, played with anything like these before, so it's a good idea. Even if I'm thinking, what I'm thinking, what I'm thinking is, um, you know, like napkin ring holders, you know, for uh, celebration tables, Christmas tables, anything like that. Um, Again, the perforation dots I'll show you just in a second where we can make it smaller but as you can imagine if that's rounded if I've not folded that we can create that in a round effect which I'll show you just shortly and then you could use that as a napkin ring holder you know a few different things that you could be doing with that one once again let's just emboss this one I still never showed you an embossing on that last one did I so we'll do that next we'll show you it with this one so the idea is uh, the same all along. All you just need to do is double check the measurements on each of the uh, packaging. It's all there on the back for you. You just want to double check and make sure you've got the right size. You could be cutting them in batch. So if we then remove this, and let's just remove this bit, ping that out of the way. I look at that, let's see if I've got it. Maybe the white will do you see, look at all that details. What I'm going to do, this is, I'm only doing this for the sake of you being able to see. I'm just going to snip these bits away. You wouldn't need to worry about doing this just now. I just want to snip them away so that you can see. There we go. So if I bring in that, that way for you to see, hopefully we can see, look at that pattern on it. Now these all have a different pattern on the wrap round. And I'm not quite sure if you can see that embossing on that cross. But it's such a stunning design. You could be putting a strip of cardstock behind that, cut another one yourself, and uh, put a strip behind it. You could be adding colour to it. Um, you could be cut, creating a mark for it. Obviously, it will make it a bit thicker, but you know it will still uh, have the colour coming through. So let's do the next one again. So the opposite die, and... Remembering to flip my plates each time. I'm just going to tape this down. And let's see if we can get that married up. And let's just run this through once again. And run this through our Gemini. There you go. Now, a few of them would actually go through your Gemini Go. And that would work because you're only die cutting one end at a time. Now, this cross wouldn't go through the Gemini Go, because the, the width, I don't, um, I'm not sure. I don't want to say yes or no for definite, but certainly all the other ones would, they would for sure. So let's just take that away, and then I still need to emboss it, don't I? Yep, I've not embossed it yet. So let's bring this through. So just exactly what I was saying earlier, it really is worthwhile embossing these dies. Some dies you can get away with not embossing, but these one, the, de the detail that comes through really does uh, make it stand out and pop even more. So again, these are another set that's going to be on the 7th of May with Sarah. She's going to be across at HSN with uh, these products that I'm showing you today in the last hour and this hour. And uh, yeah, a lot more basically. So much more goodies coming. So that's the 7th of May. So that's a Tuesday, just in case anyone wanted to know. Now let's just pop these wee bits out, and once again, so there you are, we can see the detail, let's bring that in, there we go, that's it, the detail hopefully in there, and then do the cutting, and then this is when it really starts to come together, so let's take our knife, and we're just going to cut this down, if you do have like a v-edge trimmer of that you know that would certainly work obviously with the guillotine it's harder to actually get the blade in so that wouldn't work but why use that when we've got a craft knife they work just as well just as good so let's just marry this one up again and then cut then all that i'm going to do so if i just fold this over so hopefully if you can see so if i do it this way so there's two wee slots like so and what we're just going to do is fold that over so again you would be using um 
your uh, score to all of that to make it more accurate and that I'm just doing it so that you can see so there we go so if I use that one that I've just done again if I just bring in this card blank that I've already done and pre-cut so it's just a C6 which is half at A5 just in case anyone wonders so there we go so we've got that one there I think if I'm correct in thinking let me just see yeah I'm just here and I think this one's a bit smaller so that's the right size there there you go perfect look at that one so you've got that one there so there's your wrap round die so if I bring that up for you to see let's bring that one up there you go so you've got your wrap round die like so and that's what creates the cross now again this is where you could if you want to just with these wee elements here I'm not obviously going to do it because this would be a bit time consuming but these parts here with the cross you could be sticking another bit of cardstock behind it you know if you're if you like fussy cutting like I do then you could be cutting around that so then you've got the color coming through again you could uh, put a bit of white cardstock at the back trim round and then you could paper piece color back in even when it comes to these bits there so there really is uh, a variety of different different things that you could do what we could also do again just to show you is if we what we could do is layer this on and I'm just layering this on just as a guide so hopefully that you can see and then I'm just going to use my pencil and all that I'm going to do is let's I'm just going to put a wee mark just there and then this time we can bring our guillotine and I'm just going to trim where I've done that mark so this is just this is now me showing you something else something different that you can do with the, certainly with the backing of them and then once again all that I'm going to do this time I'm just basically creating a mark for the back of your wrap and die so once again pop this in and then we can die cut this of course we could have put this straight on and just freehand cut it I do like to to do freehand cut and I quite enjoy doing that creating my own decoupage and that I find it really therapeutic so let's just on the back here just get a bit of glue going I'm just going to put a wee bit onto my hand just so that I can get the, the flow going and I'm just going to tap that on just so that we can get the spread out like so so I'm just going to spread that out tap that out just so that I'm getting a bit of coverage and then all that I'm just going to do so hopefully you can see it, yep, I'm just putting a wee band just on the back there. Now again, you know, if you want to make it even easier, you could just put a long strip right along the back there. Now, yeah, that would make it a bit thicker, but it would still work just when it comes to folding it. So then there you go, so you've got colour behind the actual strip. So you just don't need to use them just the way that they are. And then this is what I mean, if this was just white cardstock, then this is where you could be colouring it with any of your tri-blend pens or your aqua pens or that or uh, even just do your paper piece and that so a variety of different ways that you can do to change it so if I just slot that back together so then there we go pop that into the card blank that gives you the idea as to the wrap round dies so let's bring that in for you to see there you go so it just gives you an idea different bit of an idea for you to see <laughs>